Alhamdulillah wa salat wa salam wa rasulillah. All praise and thanks is due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We praise Him, we thank Him, we seek His help and His forgiveness, and we take refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from our bad deeds. Whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guides, no one can lead astray. And whomsoever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows to go astray, no one can guide to the path of righteousness. We all bear witness, and we all testify that there is no God, no object, no deity worthy of worship except for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we bear witness and testify that Muhammad ibn Abdullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is his slave and final messenger. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have peace upon him, upon all of his followers, and all who follow his path to the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in the last and final testament that he sent down to mankind, the Quran in Surah Baqarah. A'udhu billahi min ash shaitan al rajim Bismillahi rahman rahim Alif Lam Mim Dalik al kitab la raka fihi Hudal lil muqtakeen Sadaqallah, Sadaqallah wa'udin He says in this beautiful verse He says, this is the book in which there is no doubt for those of you who are God conscious they have taqwa Fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, I don't like the English word fear. Translated for taqwa. And there's one reason behind it. Because human beings, we're afraid of a lot of things. We're afraid of authority. Sometimes we're afraid of our parents. Sometimes we're afraid of our school teachers. Right? Sometimes we're afraid if somebody may find out our head, our shame. But does this stop us? from doing bad things? Does this make us think about our Creator? Does this make us think twice before we do a wrong action? No, this definition does not cover that aspect. And so I prefer to use God consciousness. Because if you're conscious of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, can you do bad things? No, right? If you're constantly thinking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if you're the Daki room, those who are constantly remembering the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's very hard to do anything bad. Now, this is the ultimate good versus evil. It's a test that has been set here for mankind since the very first man, Adam alayhi salatu salam. Adam alayhi salatu salam, if it wasn't for his repentance, by Allah, every single one of us would have been astray. We would have been accursed and rejected like shaitan. But because of the beautiful dua of Adam alayhi salatu salam, he gave us all hope. He said, Rabbana dhalamna and fusana. Anybody know the rest? Wa illa ta'fulana wa tarhamna. Lana kunana min al qasirin. He says a beautiful, beautiful dua. He said, O oh Allah, indeed we have wronged our own selves. And if you do not forgive us, and you do not have mercy upon us, verily, we shall be among the losers. And this is what shaitan is betting on. You're going to let these little sins go by. You won't catch them. It's nothing. It's only a little white lot, right? You let them go. But they start to gather strength. And they start to put spots on your heart. Until you don't see it as shameful anymore. And you forget to repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah ta'ala give us the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May you open our hearts and our minds to understanding what the truth is and what falsehood is. Because this is what will guide you to this environment. <laughs>